Welcome back to Amethyst Adventures, and welcome if you're new. It's your girl, Courtney, and today I am leaping right into work, cleaning off the windows and doing some housekeeping here in the living room before I start decorating. If this is your first time visiting, I'd like to welcome you. I love decorating DIYs, thrift lifts, shopping hauls, and more. So if you enjoy that type of content, you have reached the right channel. So sit back and relax. Grab your favorite drink while I get this living room together. And stay tuned because there's going to be a big switcheroo. I'm changing the layout of the furniture. So sit back, relax, and enjoy while I finish getting this living room together for fall. And I'll meet you later on. I'm just going to share this quick haul with you. Um, this bag of fill I picked up on clearance for $8.99. This pumpkin, more $4. I paid $3 at a yard sale for it. This beautiful bunch of very tall stems I picked up for my corner vase because I wanted to give that area a little present. It is marked. $29.99 but I got it for 40% off and these stems white silvery leaf stems or branches mark $7.99 40% off on those as well at Hobby Lobby and this one is marked I believe that says $2.24 and I picked up that bunch of stems in the clearance aisle so that is all I bought, very small haul. Now comes the time for the switcheroo. When I finished this area, I absolutely loved it. But what I wasn't happy with was the same old outdated look of the living room. So I decided to move the furniture around. I tried one arrangement and then I tried another. First, I put the chaise lounge over in this corner, but there was no walk space. So I thought again and came up with a different idea. I think I found a furniture placement that is new, that is different, but I really like it. So I have to play with some of the art, but I turned everything kind of on a diagonal. And I think once I put the bar over in this corner, it's really gonna look good. So, let me keep on working. I put the bar in place over on this corner, and here I put the side table. I like the new furniture layout. So right now I'm working on changing out the artwork. Okay, that's better. A little more symmetrical. Um, let me move on. I came down this morning and this is what it's looking like. I don't mind it. Looks good. Like it. But the only thing is I have two issues. One, the artwork to me is dark at that end of the room. So I may change that artwork to something a little lighter. I do love both those pieces. They belong to my sister. But in the space, I feel like they're a little dark. And the second thing is, I placed the chaise lounge here in relation to the couch. 
but then I don't feel like I have enough walk space here now. Let me show it to you from this end. And ignore all the junk in the background. It's still working on the row. Okay, so I think I'm gonna tweak the placement of this sh chaise and pull out my plant stand and push that just a little bit more into the window so I can pull that coffee table out just a little more to give me a little more space. So I'm gonna work on that first. After dressing the coffee table simply with a silver tray, two silver vases, and my leaf stems, I move on to the sofa. And here I use my Z Gallery throw, along with some pumpkin pillows I picked up at Home Goods and those thrifted beaded pillows. On my windowsill, I use my Z Gallery cloches and canisters. And I added some pine cones to the canisters and that decorative fill to the cloche. Lastly, I move on to dressing the bar. I added some beautiful pumpkins I picked up last year at Home Goods. And I filled my hurricane vases with those leaf stems I got from Amazon that I used in the entryway as well. So it gives a cohesive look to the whole area. I hope you like what I've put together for you today and that it gives you inspiration to start decorating your home for fall. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor and give me a big thumbs up. It helps out so much. And consider joining the Amethyst Adventures family. It's free, it's quick, and honey, it's easy. Just go ahead and click on that red subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you will know when I upload a brand new video. Thank you so much for watching today and thank you to all of my supporters, both those who have been with me since the very beginning and my new subscribers. I want to welcome you and thank you for your support. Thank you again for watching and until next time.